Hello guys. So we are waiting for uh, two three minutes. Let's people come, and then we can start Sony. We are live right now. Hi Ria, good evening. So we have something special for you guys. So Viren is like, I can't wait, man. You are already late, fifteen minutes. Please just start it. Yeah, Viren, we are starting in just two minutes. Hello guys. Just... So guys, uh, we are already late. Actually, we supposed to start at uh, seven, but because of some technical issue, we are not able to start at seven. And we are also going live with another link because the last link is not working out. So welcome back to Thought Control on this note. So guys. Uh, uh, today we are going to discuss about psychology of focus. We often heard a word focus from our teachers, boss, parents, friends, girlfriends, but nobody tell us what is focus and what are the set of processes which can help us in focus. So today in episode of this thought control, we are going to discuss about in detail about focus. And today with us, there is expert with us Sony Sa, and uh, she is going to so resolve all the questions which we have regarding focus. What are the right method to focus? And we know that focus is very, very important in terms of, you know, focus is so important because it is the gateway of all thinking, perceptions, memory, learning, reasoning, problem solving, decision making. I think without good focus, all aspect of your ability to think will suffer. And I think without focus, we won't be as effective in our work because if you are not concentrating on the right things or maybe distracted, we are not able, we are not capable of getting, you know, capable of getting our work done. So on this note, uh, Sonisha, welcome to our channel. And thank she you, has 11 years of experience in this field. So welcome back to uh, Thought Control, Sonisha. So can you please introduce? Okay, so hello everyone. My name is Sonisha and I'm a psychologist and I have done my specialization in clinical. And uh, as he rightly said, yes, I have 11 years of experience and currently I'm freelancing at uh, various places. And I also have my private practice. And today what we have, uh, you know, is through, you know, the site called Mental Health Today, you know, which is powered by Neophony. And uh, Mental Health Today is basically a website which helps, you know, all the Indian uh, mental health professionals to connect with their audience. And the main aim of the website is to help, you know, people to reach out to them uh, through their articles, through podcast, you know, through all this life. So, yes, and uh, today we'll be talking about the psychology of focus. And uh, let's really reflect on the fact that why, you know, is the focus important? What are the reasons we can't focus, you know, especially, you know, nowadays? Yeah. And what are the ways we can improve our focus? Yeah. Okay. So, Thank you, Sony. Yeah. And let's start with our first question, hmm. because this question is like everybody have in their mind, but never, nobody has thought about it. We Correct. often say like in classroom, hmm. focus, 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 hmm. but 
what is exactly focus what do you mean by focus hmm. okay so if i explain in a very simple language what focus is you know it will be just you know the simple awareness of here and now you know let's say if you are in a classroom you know and teacher is saying you are not focusing you know that means you know your awareness is not there your attention is not there to what your teacher is speaking you know your mind is sort of wandering into different places you know so uh, focus is just being aware you know having that attention and concentration to what you are doing you know at that moment so that is the example okay yeah so on this not my second question will come mm -hmm. why human mind struggle for focus Mm -hmm. why have you struggle for focus why we are not able to focus correct yeah so now tell me uh, you know it's a simple thing you know like i'm sitting at my place you i guess i'm you know uh, sitting at certain place right tell me uh, how is it i will in fact ask how is it that your focus able to focus right now and talking to me what are you doing you know right now currently in my right side there is a wedding photography going on in my <laughs> left side <laughs> lots of thing are happening but yeah. i know this is important correct so yeah hmm. that's so why i am trying to focus i am putting my attention here exactly. otherwise i have a lot of distraction mm -hmm. around me exactly yeah so that's the whole funda right that we human you know the human brain is flooded with so much information like every second every minute we have so much information coming to us you know from our environment you know so much information which is already going on in our mind you know so that is the reason you know that uh, we have sometimes issues in focusing you know because right now as you said you are focusing you are able to focus right now because you know this is important you know and you are able to look at the screen and talk to me let's say if you are not doing this you were just sitting and reading you know out there you could have been looking at the wedding photographer looking at the poses of the couple or maybe listening to the music in the background so it's because of the distraction that comes in from the environment also and distraction that goes on in our mind causes the difficulty to focus at that moment itself you know we have to the human brain is you know if you see the shortest span of focus you know if you see the research it says is less than 30 seconds you know and the more extreme is like around 15 to 20 minutes you know and that's the reason one of the reason our classrooms you know like lectures you know in school time used to be only 30 minutes because human focus span you know is just 30 uh, to 40 minutes max is what you know we can uh extend ourselves in that so at a time we can say that there are lots of thoughts coming in our mind correct yeah. lots of disturbing thoughts in our mind correct. so we how to identify which thought is important as of now even i heard about mm -hmm. this concept mm -hmm. i was i was also reading about this uh, topic and i heard about uh, about this point that our mind is mind can think forward and backward correct. like in past and future and mm. most of the time we are worried about what if if i will not able to achieve that thing what if what if we could have meet that person at that particular day okay. what if what if what if so somehow we constantly looking for future mm. past and these thoughts are like automatically coming and lots of thoughts are coming in our mind so okay. somehow focus is something which right now i have to okay out of these thoughts only i have to choose one correct and which is important correct. i think yeah right now if i'll say that there are like five in the, mm. the right hand side i can show you also mm. there is mm. a wedding photography going on <laughs> my camera is also there yeah. here this is uh, is a is a resort or something yeah so currently because i know there are lots of thoughts i can so but right now because it's important for me correct okay so focus mm. is something to choose a right thought right. at that particular moment correct correct let's say for example as you said you know for you right now this is the important thing that you need to look at yeah let's say as a girl you know if i have my wedding coming up you know what will be my focus be you know my focus will automatically go to what is happening what she is wearing what is the jewelry so it is the area of importance what we really look at it is the area of importance area of interest you know that we generally uh, focus on you know in school let's say the subject we like you know we would give all our attention and focus to what the teacher is saying you know and let's say there's a subject which i don't like you know my mind will automatically wander to places you know and also sometimes even if the subject is of my interest you know the the information is too much for me to absorb or understand my attention will go my focus will go away you know 
and also you know if it's an interaction sec, uh, thing that is happening you know so i know that you know i might be asked question you know i might have to respond you know so i make that conscious effort you know to focus in uh, that particular situation so its area of interest information the way it is coming so a lot of factors you know affect our focus you know in a particular moment and, and this is the reason like i was also reading about this uh, this hmm. particular time uh, about particular things why this short videos are now booming Correct. on every Correct. platform whether it's youtube instagram hmm. facebook hmm. any platform everybody is trying to focus on hmm. they are all all the platforms are trying to become a tiktok right now correct And, uh, and the reason is, I think, because mm. people are with flooded with lots of thoughts, Correct. and not able mm. to concentrate. And the over focus mm. is slowly, slowly, mm. is is decreasing. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. An- another question uh, to mm. you is that is anxiety mm. and stress mm. are associated with focus because when we know that I have mm. to finish that particular task. and i i am not able to finish that task because of uh because i am thinking about lots of thing in my mind hmm. so is it related to anxiety and stress correct correct so yes i would say you know but i would like uh, also say that stress to a certain extent is also very helpful to us you know let's say uh, you know the stress which is very small you know let's say i know that i have to submit an assignment tomorrow you know and i have not done anything till today you know and i know i have to give it otherwise my marks will be deducted that stress will help me focus better because i have to finish it you know and i'll put all my energy into it and you know Uh, get the thing done you know so if it's like a smaller level you know it helps us but if becomes like a regular pattern for stress then yes you know it affects the chemicals in the brain that we have and which also gradually affects you know this chemical called serotonin in the brain which is also responsible for the regulation of our mood the anxiety you know our sleep you know so long term let's say chronic stress does affect our focus and you know the anxiety and all of those factors so uh, to answer if it's short term yes it's useful but if it's like a repetitive pattern it does affect our focus and concentration okay hello yeah Yeah, sir. I I got. I, it's, I currently I'm looking for the live also, and hmm. I, because this is a one minute late, so I was hmm. looking at there. Why you are not speaking? I'm looking at that <laughs> live, and, and then I realize, okay, I have to go to the switch to Zoom as well. Uh-huh. So, yeah. So my uh, we understood that this long term, uh, hmm. not able to focus on particular thing, mean not able hmm. to achieve something, then it can it it will somehow convert into depression or stress, but. Uh, at this but if it is short term stress which is mm-hmm. because somehow that uh, force us to focus on things because i know that i have to go live at 7am 7pm okay. then i have to go because there is no choice Good. okay so, so mm-hmm. uh, on this note our next question um, and guys who are everybody who are live right now and who are listening to us you guys can also write your questions over there in the chat box we will cover those question at the end of the session so please write the questions whatever whatever thoughts you're coming in your mind related to the focus because it's very very important topic and you whenever uh, you are telling your kids or maybe your friends now be little aware ki what is focus at least you can tell okay just just don't give gyan ki is focus please focus okay so now another thing is this pandemic situation you know lots of things has been changed uh, by this pandemic in terms of work from home the uh, kids are learning from home only and lots of thing has moved to online people are struggling with uh, with family also it will say the divorce rate has been increased uh, the stress level has been increased even yesterday i was reading about this data also women w- uh domestic violence is also increased in 2020 is the is the highest ever correct so now correct. question comes that how this pandemic is affecting our focus so uh if you see now with the whole pandemic you know the whole 
thing which started you know affecting our focus and attention is the first and foremost factor was the fear you know the fear of covid you know and the whole awareness you know was am i washing my hands properly you know uh, you know have i what have i done you know like reflecting on the action let's say if we stepped out of the house you know where all did i touch you know and our mind is then again constantly wandering in those things you know that have i done this right have i done that uh, right are my parents safe as my are my friends safe you know oh what are the numbers Numbers, you know, the uh, media, you know, so our mind is constantly, you know, looking at the media and the number of cases rising, you know, the effects of it, and at the family members, the care and concern of that. So a lot of other factors, you know, which were not there earlier, came into our environment and which has, you know, affected our focus, you know, and now the whole uh, dynamic of working from home. you know early we were not used to very this concept of working from home so now that whole coordination bit of it you know and working from home managing your house you know let's if you have family and kids you have to manage all the household chores you know so a mind is you know having like it's like a computer with 10 tabs open you know so you don't know which one to really focus on because all of them at one point seems really important to so overall that has really affected you know the focus of human beings you know for pandemic students also you know has uh, really really let's say in a kid who has attention deficit you know and hyperactivity disorder at home it's a very uh, comfortable situation you know it is just in front of the screen you know they don't have to be in a particular way to sit in a particular chair you know to listen to a particular teacher so that really affects the whole environment in which the child is sitting is really affecting the focus whereas in classroom i am somewhere aware that oh my teacher is there you know it's an environment my you know classmates are there with me they will watch me you know if i don't behave nicely you know so all of those factors have also affected the focus and the attention part of it and mainly i would say the subconscious part is the fear you know which affects our uh, focus you know in this whole pandemic okay yeah. okay so uh, mm. so fear is one important uh, aspect Sorry. of this i would say uh, we are not able to focus because of and this environment also change and because of Sorry. that also we are not able to focus Sorry. so now very important part of our discussion mm. we understood why focus is important mm. Mm. what is focus mm. and how this focus uh, has changed over the period of this pandemic pandemic mm. now important part comes that how to focus what are the set of is there any set of process which can help us and we know that even even they just uh, people say that there are if if n number of thoughts are coming in our mind mm. there will be always one thought which will be telling us that this is the right thing to do which is always is is, is something like uh, i would say uh, a very it's a normal thought process mm. which is mm. uh, but we ignore we often ignore that thought process comes in our mind right. and we know that focus is important but still mm. we are more attracted to thinking about future more attracted to thinking about past and mm. in our mind only we are making the films so yeah. there is a hindi mein gangs of asapur mein ek movie hai na ki sabke dimag mein cinema chal raha hai sabke apni picture ke hero hai everybody is a hero in their own film correct so so now question is hmm. how to focus okay so now uh, you know there are uh, various ways you know that i have factors that i can ask you to you know to look into it now say let's say for example if you have to sit you know and work or let's say if the child has to sit and study or let's say if you have to sit and work you know uh, on the laptop you know so there are uh, various environmental factors also which affects you know we may not realize you know in our focus let's say if the room is very hot you know uh, let's say the seat is not very comfortable or uh, let's say there's too much noise in the background you know so these are the environmental factors which also distract us so maybe what we can do is that first you know we get those environmental factors in place you know we find a particular corner you know which helps us you know focus better that there's lighting better you know the air the ventilation you know all of those you know so those are the environmental factors that i can keep in check you know a 
yeah then second thing as you said you know that either i'm living in the past or let's say i'm you know living in the future you know so it is the thoughts again which we need to keep in check now first i need to decide ki, okay what is the target that i'm going to focus on today is it something very important that i have to finish or is it something you know that i have decided to finish in a week you know span what is the goal that i'm setting for myself you know and accordingly you know planning that whole you know session let's say planning that whole hour or whatever that i'm deciding to focus for you know that sustain attention should also be you know planned and have a little goal to it yeah so if i am aware that my attention you know drifts let's say in 10 minutes you know so i plan accordingly you know after 10 minutes i take a little break i have you know go and have a, a little food or let's say i go and have munch a little you know sip some water and then come back you know and focus on my work right and also you know if let's say my phone is a major distraction nowadays you know we have so much of whatsapp flooding in uh, you know social media and all of those so how can i keep that you know away from me you know for that art and try and focus you know so those you know other uh, factors also is what we can you know focus on and the best like i said you know is being aware of here and now you know as you said there will be one thought of in your mind which says okay, okay listen i need to focus you know right now so try and you know bring you know uh, your awareness to present so you will realize that you are getting into that loop of thoughts you know like when i'm planning my future you know what if you know this happens i will do this i will do this or i will do this there will be a point which says ki oh i'm planning in future i have to come back to present now what can that be either i like i said move a little i get up and uh, have a little water you know or maybe you know if you know nowadays you get those uh, squishy balls you know you have that you know so you keep that in hand which brings you in present and makes you aware that yes you have to do that or i think also uh, the best time you know in the school the teacher used to say you know like have a pencil and a ruler and keep it you know while you're reading you know keep it along with you why because it helps you focus better you know so all these factors you know if you see helps you uh, you know focus better on the work that you're doing yeah and like i said the best part is to always time you know the goal that you're you know setting for yourself you know the target that you are planning to achieve if you feel you know that 3 4 hours continuously you know you're going to sit and do that it is going to be little difficult for you to focus so it's better to have a divided activity and uh, especially for students you know i would say reading and you know making notes a little on side will really help you know them to focus better and for people who are working you know again if they are constantly on computer or something giving little neck exercises or just you know shoulder exercises will help them focus better okay so as we uh, we can conclude here that one thing is environmental mm-hmm. factor Correct. which can be that temperature regarding mm-hmm. regarding a- anything which is sure. environmental factor which is not in psychological uh, okay. uh, problem but is environmental so first thing we have to identify that thing okay. and second is psychological problem okay. that we have mm-hmm. to identify that particular thing and there is also on on this point only that i was also uh, reading about it and there was there were one person who said uh, mm-hmm. that instead of focusing mm-hmm. what to do mm-hmm. in a day mm-hmm. just focus now what not to do okay hmm. now is 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 not an era of prioritizing things hmm. what hmm. is priority is hmm. more important just prioritizing away things hmm. okay hmm. these are five things hmm. which are not helpful for me hmm. and just say that okay these five things i'm not going to do hmm. one thing can be like okay instagram hmm. and before that also we need to identify disturbing thoughts Okay. okay these are five things which hmm. disturb me to get hmm. focus correct so identifying those disturbing thought uh, can be the first step and hmm. second step is i have identified these disturbing thoughts now hmm. i have to prioritize away okay, okay these correct. five things i don't need to hmm. do maybe hmm. uh, i often when hmm. i when i when i open instagram or other hmm. things and i often spend more than one hour two hours and i it's like mm. my fingers are working like and they mm. also instagram and these apps mm. have designed in such mm. a way that they mm. are i mean i would say they are also mm. just like cigarette Correct. because uh, they are very addictive so we have to identify that okay this is one thing mm. which i should not do 
Correct. This is one thought which hmm. is disturbing. Hmm. I have to prioritize away. Correct. So Correct. if we'll start prioritizing away things which are disturbing, so hmm. maybe uh, it can be helpful. Absolutely. What's your thought? Yes, you know, absolutely. You know, like as you said, you know, what is you know uh, something that is distracting me? And as you rightly said, you know, with at home, you know, right now, what is the distracting factor? You know, the phone is the biggest distracting factor. Instagram is the biggest dis- uh, distracting factor. Facebook, you know, and why do you think the reels are? You know, even if you see the reels are fifteen to thirty seconds, you know, the ads on YouTube have now reduced their five seconds. You know, why do you think they have done that? because they are banking on this whole short attention span of the humans you know if you see the research as you are saying that the you know you uh, focus span or let's say the attention span the you know lowest of humans i think in 2013 was around 12 seconds which has come down to right now to 8 seconds you know oh. so our, our attention or the focus span is just like 8 seconds you know and that is the reason they are banking on it and they are making the best out of you know <laughs> our attention span you know and i think so, that's why we say the 10 second are very very important in your video first 10 second whenever exactly. we make a video we try to make it like boom do something crazy here in 10 second because people is i i i believe that all the social media platforms is like people are screaming on this when you go on youtube home page people are screaming so now exactly. question is how how you know how loud you can scream exactly. is is something in that 10 second uh, we have to work us because even, people uh, know, even the content yeah. writers you know when they are writing you know on their pages like the posts that everybody is making you know i you know you me if you'll not go beyond four five lines because our attention does not allow us to focus on that you know it's like oh there's too much information you know so if it's something which is very catchy you know i might just you know uh, look at it you know i might just read at it you know so that is the whole i think it's also the generation and the kind of environment that we are living in which is also affecting us you know let's say netflix you know also you know as you're saying the five things to put away is like the phone you know your instagram facebook you know netflix you know if you are watching some series you know attention or the focus always goes oh what is happening in that series you know what is happening what will happen next you know and uh, what will i watch you know so so much of it is like i said you know so much information is there you know for us you know so much distraction is there for us that it is difficult to identify what to put away and what to focus on you know so as you rightly said you know i would in fact say that probably balance it out that what are the five things that i need to finish or let's say even if not five things then we are going short let's say what are the three things you know that i need to finish in the day and once i'm done that maybe i can you know do the other you know entertaining part of it you know and that's how you know that whole reward system that generally works with humans you know that oh because i have done this three tasks for the day i can reward myself and watch you know like let's say half an hour of uh, netflix or i can uh, watch you know uh, episode on uh, netflix or prime or wherever that i want you know so it is prioritizing it is planning of your time and your goals you know and the task that you are supposed to do really helps us focus better and also uh, there are a lot of other activities which we can do a day to day basis which helps improve our focus you know it's not a one day thing ke aaj kiya aur phir pura mahina wahi system chalega it doesn't work like that you know a mind needs to be trained every day you know to focus better to you know have that sustained attention for a longer period of time and another point which i also want to discuss because is in this performance space society we mm. often lose focus because we constantly strive towards the new and better Correct. instead of like finding our inner power and constructive mm. uh, constructively working with what we are best at each given moment mm. because uh, we are also constantly thinking what we want to achieve what we want to mm. be Correct. then our focus is constantly on future not mm-hmm. on the work that i think mm-hmm. that needs to be done now correct so i yeah. think so, i also think that this is my mm-hmm. opinion that mm-hmm. removing the goal now mm-hmm. then is not as crazy as it sounds because mm-hmm. because that's how focus ends up on who we are and what we have instead of chasing after mm-hmm. what we are not to what we are not and mm-hmm. do not have mm-hmm. i think focus is not about becoming something hmm. you know 
so what, what's your what's your take on this like so i think it's what you are saying is pretty much you know like uh, i would again go back to social media that everything is so perfect on that you know uh, you know and everything is so beautiful and good on that that somehow that our you know goals are very idealistic in nature where we are always seeking perfection you know and uh, you know that goals are then always you know becoming you know that perfect uh, thing you know and uh, let's say even if you are going out you know our focus is not on looking at the nature you know and uh, kicking a picture you know it will be clicking the right picture you know like with Correct. the right angle with the right view you know so that is our focus you know and then in that how much time we end up spending we don't realize so the time is spent in clicking pictures then the time is spent in editing pictures and the time is spent posting it and what is the right post that i'm supposed to do and then the whole process you know the whole joy of being at the place is gone you know and the dopamine also released with that so we are like high on that and exactly. this problem i also realized like i hmm. recently started traveling hmm. uh, traveling and vlogging things Correct. so uh, i my focus whenever i used to go at particular place my focus is the same which you are saying right now that i used to focus okay this is the shot which i got man hmm. this is this is the thing which i have to click and Correct. most of the time i my thought process in about if i i felt remember any if i remember any memory about that place mm-hmm. would be that nice shot correct uh, maybe exactly. that shot which i was not able to take mm-hmm. and that thing i also realized and after that i thought ki okay mm-hmm. uh, uh, now i'm dividing the time accordingly that okay this one hour is for the shooting part mm-hmm. and remaining 40 minutes is for me i'll sit here and just chill mm-hmm. just i'll try to enjoy what mm-hmm. nature is saying is there exactly. mm-hmm. so that i think that is also very very important part and and now this new generation hmm. uh and i some some sometime i worried about it like hmm. this is best part also and bad part as well because the, now the kids who are on hmm. instagram they are hmm. they have good followers they have they can uh, they have a platform where they can see what hmm. they can tell what they uh, feel hmm. but at the same moment they are getting dopamine high because of that Correct. and somehow uh, not able to focus at particular place and if the, whenever we are visiting and understanding that nature knowing about that knowing hearing that sound of birds that that thing is not there like it, even now our generation as well mm-hmm. people go and just just clicking clicking it's just clicking I, i don't see and on any on right now i mean like traveling in manali and nearby area mm. himach himachal whenever i go i don't see anybody who is sitting and just enjoying mm. the nature just yeah. watching the nature i just see people who are like abhi left me lete hain thoda sa idhar de de kaisa hai picture but mm. that's it picture aa gaya photo dala mm. instagram pe 10 like dopamine is like increasing correct so that's that's like i'm lit- literally worried about it this this focus thing because it's all based on instant gratification right like even messages you know if you go to see earlier phone you know that we had we had just like 100 number of messages that we were allotted you know and we had to send the message and we had to wait that person to reply back you know now with whatsapp you know it's like within seconds you know are blue tick ho gaya you know why is this person not responding i i, I can see he's read the message at so and so time you know it's been already 5 minutes why is that person not responding you know so that you know instant gratification of things is affecting our focus you know uh, and it is not allowing us to remember things for a longer period of time you know so as you're saying the memory is just for that one photo you know you will not have any other memory as such you know why because you have used only few of your senses of clicking pictures you know and then getting done with it now let's say if you're just sitting in the environment you know you're feeling you know the grass you are smelling you know the uh, you know soil you know the whole uh, air around you know and then uh, you know you just like enjoying the visuals you know let's say you're losing all the five senses that are there you know and you're inf- taking the information from it you know imagine how much will you be able to remember compared to just using one of your senses you know so it is just that you know uh, not utilization of the senses you know which is also not helping us you know focus and remember things for a longer period of time so that's why a lot of kids you know uh, let's say adhd kids who are not able to focus better you know their auditory uh, you know 
area is affected you know they are made to do sand activities they are made to do you know touch activities you know kinesthetic things they are made to look at visual things you know they are made to use other senses you know so that they able to remember better you know so i think it's just the utilization of all the senses that we have in the right way helps us focus better you know and also simultaneously calming ourselves you know to uh, you know relax our mind you know is also one way of focusing better so is this uh, relaxing when we talk about relaxation uh, of our mind hmm. is that meditation can also hmm. help i think so what's your take on meditation part that hmm. that uh, in relation between meditation and focus is there anything absolutely so you know so meditation yes you know again i would say there are a lot of ways you know to uh, calm your mind there are a lot of ways to focus yeah meditation could be one of it you know and there are variation to meditation also let's say for me meditation is like just listening to the soft music and just you know sitting you know that helps me calm down you know for some person it's just sitting and focusing on their breath you know could be meditation for some people nowadays what i have seen and what my clients you know really enjoy is doing those mandalas you know that you get you know you get those books you know you are supposed to paint in that you know those are the uh, things that you really enjoy because it calms them down it helps them focus better you know it helps them relax better so those are the things which are also there you know in between you used to have those fidgets right those which had become like a new thing you know you just fidget with that you know so that was helping people uh, relax and uh, calm down yeah some people are lot into you know nowadays a lot of people are into pottery you know that helps them calm down so i would say it will depend person to person you know and i think you need to experiment with yourself to realize you know okay, okay this is what something you know which is helping me calm down this is something that is helping me focus better because if i suggest let's say a person who is somehow going through let's say mania or let's say a child who is going through adhd and i say nahi tum bed ke meditation karo you know betho you know aankh band karo it it might not work for that person you know they may need a physical outlet you know so for a child you know who has so much pent up energy maybe playing a sport you know can help them calm down you know help them relax better cycling football anything you know badminton so it will depend person to person and i would say each individual can decide for themselves what works best for them to focus better and which activity will help them enhance their uh, focus better that's really nice like yeah mm-hmm. when we know that okay this is the time where we have to take a decision okay this is a thought which is coming but still we are, we are mm-hmm. not able to you know still mm-hmm. not able to focus on that particular thought and we know this is the right thing so that i think at that moment we should do some activity like as you suggested that we should do some activity just stand mm-hmm. over there just do mm-hmm. just sing a song just just mm-hmm. listen a song just run yeah. <laughs> do something at that moment just 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 to maybe just give to a uh, uh, reward to our mind okay, okay. this 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 i think that uh, mind at that particular moment required that you go and check out the instagram go and check out that uh, uh, the, the something else which gives you a dopamine hit or maybe serotonin hit means some that hormones are releasing in your mind correct if we can convert that hormones in a good activity maybe dance maybe singing maybe crying also i think <laughs> I, just just cry just go and do me chilla ke aajao bahar and doing something which gives us a dopamine high and even people say that instead of uh, doing some chorus activity just simple uh, washing your clothes uh, just doing iron like anything which is somehow give the sense of completion of a task okay. which can give a dopamine and serotonin hit to your mind so that it can be calmed down and you can start focusing on that particular thing which you know okay. that is important okay. that, that is really interesting that's really interesting okay one last question i want to hmm. ask you is there anything long term focus is there something which name hmm. as long term focus Hmm. because short term focus we understood right now i have to uh, hmm. mean i have to take a uh, if i have to go gym i uh, go to gym i have hmm. five thoughts okay maybe i don't want okay. to go to gym or hmm. maybe i don't want to wake up right now or hmm. this is a short term thing and day to day basis things are happening okay. second is long term focus is maybe 
uh, let's say we want 1 million subscriber this is something mm. as a long term thing mm. so how to keep that thing how to keep that focus mm. uh, in in, in day to day life how we mm. can be in touch with that focus and how we can achieve that particular ta- uh, a long term focus if is there any term name as long term focus so what we generally say is what we call a sustained attention you know so your a you know ability to uh, you know sustain your attention for longer time you know and like i said it is a habit it is a pattern which you help develop your brain as you said if your goal is 1 million subscribers you know it is the short term activities what you are doing every day will you know which will help you achieve that target you know i just cannot wake up one day in the morning and be like you know i'll do this and uh, you know aaj 1 million ho jayega let's say if you of course you know put up something which is very spectacular and you know uh, it goes viral then you get 1 million subscribers and you get lucky you know but if it's some and of course you know then you have to continue to that you know level so that that you can maintain those 1 million followers otherwise again that will go down because like i said there are so many other channels available you know so it is sustain effort every day you know sustain uh, task that you do every day which will help you achieve your longer goal you know and it is what is the driving factor you know it is very important what is that driving factor which will help me achieve that goal what will what will i achieve you know once i get that 1 million subscribers you know that motivation that drive will you know help us focus better you know because if i lose interest midway you know i'm not very driven to get that you know i might just do it for four five days and i'm you know done and dusted with it you know so it is that drive you know why i want to do it you know what is my goal you know what am i going to get out of it what am i going to do daily you know and what is it that others are doing which will help me also you know learning from others you know is also something helps you know in that sustain uh, uh, attention or let to sustain goal you know having interaction with people you know brainstorming ideas you know also really helps for the our long term goal and motivation also that's yes, yes. so we can conclude here that hmm. our long term focus is mm, not as such a thing like is where yeah. we need to focus and it's important for us even yeah. i i remember uh, this i don't remember the name of that uh, women she is a shooter uh, mm. she is a world champion mm. i was i don't remember the name actually mm. Mm. so she was telling that when i was focusing on that leaf mm. which was move, swimming in the air mm. my focus was on that leaf Hmm. I was not thinking. Hmm. What if I'm not able to aim this? Correct. What if nothing? Hmm. My focus is about that beautiful leaf hmm. which was swimming in the air. Correct. Hmm. And, and the same goes with that in uh, the Arjun also said exactly. the same thing. That, yeah. uh, that that I have to focus. My thought process was when I was aiming to that bird. Hmm. Hmm. i was not thinking about the tree mm. here nothing correct. i was able to see that eye of that bird correct this is the power which human being have exactly that's the power which everybody of us have which we don't realize exactly. that our ability to focus can mm. change lots of things in that arjun story one one person can be the champion in shooting because yeah. of ability of focus hmm. and that th- and it's is also so it's, it's a very very important topic uh, like psychology of focus and yeah. i think uh, any any other thing yeah. which you want to tell sony if you have anything in mind and we can no, so, also see just, if yeah, yeah. conclude with what the examples that you gave you know the shooter and for the, let's say arjuna you know why were they so focused is fact is because it was their area of interest you know it was something that was driving them you know to focus better you know it was their goal to achieve that you know so it was like you know maybe as you are saying that subconsciously it was like i want to become you know a better shooter or let's say uh, you know a best archer you know so my you know goal is somewhere subconsciously to achieve that so my concentration has to be very very focused you know my activity has to be very very focused you know i cannot allow the other distractions you know to take away my mind from it you know 
so that is the most important factor let's say the simple factor for focus is what if the activity i'm doing is interesting me or not if it's not interesting me how can i make it more interesting so that i can focus but it's as simple as that you know and if not you know how can i divide and plan it better okay okay thank you then i think it's, a, it's end of session and yes. it's, it's it was lovely to talking to you sony thank and you. i think uh, i think our viewers also have like enjoyed it okay. i think uh, hopefully I mean, yes. and if they uh, if they found it interesting <laughs> and if anybody can utilize this thing that that how important is this focus and how these thoughts which are coming to uh, again and again in your mind lots of thoughts concentrating mm-hmm. on one thing and yeah. distracting whenever this thought is coming mm-hmm. making your mind that strong that okay now let's focus on this topic and this how to give the dopamine mm-hmm. high in your mind and and this environmental factors and all other things so so if anybody want to connect with you if mm-hmm. if anybody who is have let's say adsd problem or the students who are not able to focus on things yeah. and if they want to connect with you then how they can connect if, if you want to uh maybe they can connect to me to me directly and or maybe through nth uh, mhd sorry you know uh oh. they can get in touch with me so yeah. okay yeah thank you thank okay. you sony thank you thank, thank you, you guys so thank you everybody yeah. if you have uh, like any doubt please let us know in the comment section below and we will try to give the answer of those questions also sorry i have asked the, what should i do uh for instagram addiction so bro do nothing just when mm-hmm. this first prioritize that oh, today i am going to spend only 10 minutes exactly. and whenever your hand is like you know, slowly slowly is going towards the phone and picking I that phone i think best is put it on the airplane mode or you know keep it in the area which you know uh, you know you are lazy to get up and go <laughs> you know keep it little far you know that, that, yeah. that's also correct like yeah. don't give a choice to yourself exactly <laughs> that thing yeah okay thank you son yes thank, thank you so much bye bye guys bye bye